Hello everyone. I hope you all are safe and healthy. Today, in 11th commerce, we are starting with the new chapter, the chapter number one, economics and introduction. So before starting with the subject, let me give you some brief idea related to the subject. Economic is the study of how societies, government, businesses, households and individuals allocate their scarce resources and how they interact with each other in producing and maintaining the livelihood that is related with the economy. Ultimately, there are two disciplines of economy where one, they are preparing some models and second, they are actually doing research related with the subject. So, what are the importance of economy? Let's understand it in detail first what I understand the importance of economy in present scenario. First, it helps to conquer the poverty. It helps to reduce our poverty. Same way, it will give you some knowledge related with the economic system. It also creates some modern methods of production which will help you to earn more and more money from the market. It helps to make you proper budgeting same way, it will increase the national health. Same way, national wealth. And it will help you to formulate any kind of budget. It is for a longer duration or shorter one. And it helps you in framing the law. So, this is what I understand. In, in same way, if you consider in this pandemic duration, you know that economy has maximum importance. US has maximum numbers of cases of coronavirus. Just why? Because they don't want to stop their economy. Same, uh, Narendra Modi has said, we will compensate with the economy if we have the human resources. So we are going to see that how the economy is related with the humans as well. So let's start with the chapter. My name is Pratik Majmudar. Let's go. Starting with the meanings of economics. To see the cursor, the word economic is an Indian thought come from the word Earth Shastra. So you have to remember if in asked in the examination, economics word come from which Indian thought? So it is come from the Indian thought Earth Shastra. Now the Earth Shastra derived from the Sanskrit word. So Earth Shastra is a Sanskrit word where Earth means, Earth means what? Earth means the purpose or the goal. When you are doing something or uh, you are doing something for the purpose, something for uh, getting your goals, then it is considered as a earth. Okay. So earth shastra word is derived from the Sanskrit word where the word earth means purpose or the goal. So in earth shastra in Sanskrit, the whole word means the signs of benefits of purposes in practical life means it is a science, it is a science from getting benefits, getting benefits for the purpose in practical life. Same way, it is about the Sanskrit word. Now, what economic word or the English word economics is derived from the Greek word. So, English word economics is derived from the Greek word that is oikonomos. You have to remember this word oikonomos. This is the introduction of the chapter. English word economics which is derived from the Greek word oikonomos. Now what is oiko means? Oikos means household and monos means management. So the whole word means oikonomos means the management of the household. That means routine activity when you are managing that that is called as oikonomos and it is come from the Greek word. Okay. Let's go to the next slide. Now, economics in Indian thought. Then we will see the economic as per the Western thought as well. The history of Indian culture is almost 5000 years old. Let's, let's just understand this 5000 year old culture we are following. And we know that before 5000 years, these points are so much important that 
the reference of these points is rightly taken in standard 11's economics when we are uh, studying the base of the economy so how wonderful our culture is understand this the four purusharths that means purposes of human being what we have to do the purusharths in indian philosophies are one that is dharma arth kaam and moksha now what does it mean dharma means the duty or righteousness that means what is your duty towards the society same arth arth means what is the purpose what is the benefit what is the wealth we are going to earn from the society same kaam kaam that means desire what you want to do that is your desire and moksh moksh that means liberalization liberalization that means reducing the rules and regulations from the society that is called as moksh so dharma arth kaam and moksh these are four purusharths which we have to follow as per indian philosophy so the activities of life done for the earth that means for the benefit of the society they are the subject matters of economy that means from this four different philosophies we are following earth earth that means what we are doing for the purpose what is the benefit from this and what is wealth we are creating that is going to be discussed in this particular topic now same way when it comes to the indian thought who is the author who who started who is initiated the earth shastra any activity is done with the purpose of obtaining some benefit is called as economic act if you seen my previous lecture of accountancy you are able to understand what is considered as a economic activity and what will be considered as a monetary activity where anything should be in return if anything is done for some of the purpose then it is considered as a economic activity now 25 years ago understand this 2500 sorry 2500 years ago kautilya was known as chanakya popularly known as chanakya he has discussed in his book arth shastra what he has discussed the purpose of economic activity undertaken by a state and the society state that means the country okay previously they were using the word state state means the country and by the society said so society that means the people the people who are living in the society how they can do a purpose or how they can purposefully do the economic activities that will be considered as a earth shastra how many years before he has given the concept he has given concepts before 2500 years ago okay the name of the author that is kautilya popularly known as a chanakya according to kautilya the science explaining the purpose and the utility of wealth creation on earth is called as economics what we are creating on as a wealth on the earth will be considered as a economics that means whatever return we are generating from the society that is also considered as a economy now what development of economy in western country is there so let's see the topic development of economics as a science in the west now greek philosopher Aristotle we have heard the name Aristotle the great gave his views of economics in the book of oikonomia nomica you have to remember this word oikonomica same way adam smith adam smith has written the book in the year 1776 the title of the book is an inquiry into the nature and causes of wealth of nation so the popular it is this book is known as wealth of nations so he has given the concepts related with the economy in the year 1776 in his book an inquiry into the nature and causes of wealth of nations so instead of uh, remembering the whole name you just remember this name popularly known as wealth of nations so who has written the book wealth of nations adam smith has written the book wealth of nation in which year he has written he has written in the word 1776 same way oikonomica book is written by whom it is written by the aristotle the great and he was a greek philosopher you have to remember this now always as in many of the examination who 
was called as the father of modern economy? The answer is Adam Smith. We are using Adam Smith as a father of economy. Understand this? It is done in the year 1776. That means uh, almost 2005, uh, 250 years ago. And we, Chanakya has given the concept 2500 years ago. So who, who should be called as modern, uh, modern father of economy? Okay. But still, as per the book, it was written. The father of modern economy is Adam Smith. So we have to follow that. But everything is uh, what we have done as per our Indian virtues are followed by each and every one. But we are not using that. That is seamless for us. Next, let's go to the definition of economics. There are basically four authors whose definition you have to remember. We are starting with each and every one. First one, the economics is the study of the nature and causes of wealth of nations. Here, remember the word which he has used. He has given in his book, Wealth of Nations in the year 1776. Adam Smith has given the concept related with the wealth of nations. Now you have to remember this definition which was darkened in a blue color. Economics is the study of nature and causes of wealth of nations. The definition is given by Adam Smith. So what does it mean? The economic study is the exchange of physical wealth produced by the labor. Uh, labor labor that means the man, 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 that means the person, that means human resources. So what they were doing? They were providing their physical wealth. Physical man means manpower. We are using our manpower to generate something. So that will be considered as wealth of the nations. So economic is the study of nature and causes of wealth of the nation that definition is given by adam smith next in his book principles of economics publics in the year 1819 so who is the author the author is alfred marshall alfred marshall has written the book principles of economics in the year 1819 in that what definition he has given for the word economics Economics is the study of mankind in the ordinary business of life. It is the study of the mankind in the ordinary business life. That means mankind, that means what we are doing for the society, humanity. Okay. So that will be considered as a definition by which is given by the Alfred Marshall. Now what it implies, it implies that in everyday life, people usually seek material well-being. Whatever the people were generating, that will be material in nature. And economics is the study for the mankind, that means for the humanity. And that will be considered in ordinary uh, world, ordinary business of life, that will be considered as economics. In which book he has written this definition? He has written this definition in the book principles of economics in the year 1819. So these are the two different authors. Let's go to the next one. In the year 1931, in which year? 1931, Leonard Robbins. Robbins has given the definition of in the book nature and significance of economics. So nature and significance of economics books is written by Leonard Robbins. So what Robbins has given the definition, economics is the science which studies the human behavior as a relationship between ends and scare means which have alternate uses. So what he has done previously in previous day, they were talking, they were also talking about the human behavior or mankind or anything. Here, the concept is given related with the ends and scare. What is called as ends and scare? That means about the scarcity. When there is a consideration or when there is a scarcity in nature, scarcity means there are less numbers of products in the market and we have to generate from that. That is called as scarcity. So, what alternatives we are using that is considered as economic. So this is the third definition which was given by Leon and Robbins in the year 1931 in his book Nature and Significance of Economics. You have to remember this. Now for today's session, the last definition which was given by Paul Swimson. Now what he has told in his definition, the book 
foundation of economic analysis which was published in the year 18, 1947 the year in which india becomes independent same year he has written something so what what is the title of the book foundation of economic analysis who has written that paul samuelson what he has shown or what he has told in his definition economics is the study of how people and society end up choosing with or without the use of money to employ the scarce productive resources same in the previous definition we have seen the word scarce to employ the scarce productive resources that could have alternative uses to produce various persons in the society it analyzes the cost and benefits for improving pattern and resources collection that means we have to analyze between cost analyze between the cost and benefits same way to improve the patterns of resources allocation whatever we resources getting we have to improve our production that definition is given by paul simonson so four different authors four different years and four different books which you have to remember okay let me revise it again to you adam smith in the year 1776 in the books in his book wealth of nation here if in mcq the definition is given from this four four answers you can give the answers from that that wealth if you use this word wealth you are able to understand this book is written by adam smith second here alfred marshall in the year 1819 he has written book principles of economics where he has discussed about mankind about mankind remember this word mankind next one the robins has discussed in the year 1931 in his book nature and significance of economics where he has discussed or we which he has made a relationship between ends and scarce he is dealing with the scarcity resources and the last one the fourth author that is paul samuelson he has given definition in the year 1947 in his book foundation of economic analysis where he is analyzing cost and benefits where he is analyzing cost and benefits i hope you have understood everything which we have discussed we have discussed today the meaning of economics why the importance of economics is there in in 11th standard same what uh, what we have what thoughts we are following in india about economics and what we are following in western countries and we have seen four different definition which is given by four different authors so this is it for today i hope you have like share and subscribe to the channel please share it to the maximum to the students who has completed the 10th standard when who are planning to get admitted in the 11th commerce i hope you have liked this that's all for today thank you jai hind